Alright YouTube, today I'm going to show you one of my many vintage units I have in my collection. This one is currently the um, pride of my vintage technology fleet, I guess. I don't know. This being the Macintosh 512KE, um, which was the last, I think, of the first generation of Macintoshes. So, with further, without further to ado, here it is. Um, so that's the front of it. Here you see the hefty, hefty ass keyboard. Probably could take a drop, couple of drops. Um, hooks in using a standard what is this RJ11 telephone jack. So that tells you how old this is. It's at least from '85. This particular computer, if I'm did my research right. Um, yeah, RJ11 phone cable. So that basically says that this keyboard was probably a tone generator. And <clears throat> model number. Get into focus. M0110. There's a serial number down there under the barcode. Pretty sure that's the serial number. And the classic one button square mouse deal. There's its number. Come on, focus for me, phone. It was working earlier. I don't know why. Come on, focus. Come on, come on, you're a good phone. You should focus this. I don't know why it's not focusing that. Up oh, there it goes. But yeah. M0100 serial number under the barcode there. And note, made in USA. <laughs> you don't see many things that are made in America anymore. Very classic. And so yeah, this computer. Um, you got the embroidered app, old school Apple logo. Um, this thing, which is real nice, um, it's a, um, what is it? It's a floppy em sim emulator. It basically allows you to read floppy images on these old units off a micro SD card. Well, this is technically not a micro SD card. This is a trans flash SD card. But floppy image images or um, what I have this set up to do is simulate a hard disk 20, which was the hard drives for these computers, and this is hooked into the external floppy port. You can get these for like a hundred bucks or whatever from um, Big Mess O Wire, B M O W. Big mess. Oh, wires.com. I'm. I guess I could say I'm supporting him. It's a great little product. Product. This can also be used with the old Apple IIs. The eight bits. Yeah. And this is currently model B version 1.5. Um. Yeah. Great little thing. You change. Select your disk images using the these buttons and then. The, yeah. Not much to say about it. Just go look it up if you're curious about these things. Um, hold on. And the cool thing is, I got the actually came this Mac came with the original carry-on bag, but that was it. It was just the computer and the carry-on bag. Yeah, those are some of my other collections. That Commodore's for another day, and so is that. But, um, yeah, let's turn this thing around so you can see the back. So there's the embroidered Apple, old school Apple logo again with embroidered Macintosh 512K. Note this is the enhanced version, which had enhanced ROM chips and an 800K floppy disk drive built in. Which, by the way, that 
the drive in this particular one needs to be repaired. It's one of the tiny gears in the eject motor got bred on the teeth in the gear broke. So uh, trying to find a replacement gear for that. It's kind of being a hassle. But it, other than that, it works. Here we got, um, yeah, the FCC ID and model number and all the safe, very safety things and I think that's what that model number M0001E identifies this particular 512K as an enhanced with that E on the end so you got your mouse your external floppy which I have set up to that floppy in which is set to emulating an HD20 which would basically um, yeah, it was the external hard drive for these particular ones before they came built in. It's just like a little card with this ribbon cable on it. Printer port, modem, I guess the sound, I'm pretty sure. You got your security thing so you can chain it to a table. I don't know the exact term. Um, power cable. I think the power cable has an Apple logo on it could be looking at the wrong end but I think it's the one that plugs into the wall this one that's the one that powers into the Mac that black one is for my <laughs> Midland weather radio um, but yeah. yeah let's show you this thing for being 30 something years old kind of over and cumbersome when you're sitting on the floor and trying to turn it with one hand it's but it still works. Put you up there. Put my hand behind the mutt. Find that power switch. Turn it on. There's the startup beep. There's the smiling Mac. Well, there's the welcome screen. Takes a few sec minute me. Yeah, yeah. This no, this is probably faster than the original hard drive 20 because it's. Booting off a, a solid state trans flash. But let's bring you up to speed here about Finder. As you can see, us oh, crap, sorry about that. I'm trying to get it perfect. But as you can tell, system software version 6.0.8, which is the max. That this particular unit can run. Find your version 6.1.8. Um, yeah, that's the little about the finder. Um, let's show you this little thing right here to show you that it's set to simulating an HD20. So here's the floppy oom. As you can see here on the screen, it's set to. Set the HD 20 disk emulation with the file name Macintosh HD, as you see here and on here. And it's, of course, called HD 20 because it was a 20 megabyte hard drive. So it's 20 megabytes. And that's all off that little trans flash card that's right there. That's a 2 gigabyte trans flash card. These are neat. You should go check out bigmessofwire.com. Um, that keyboard works, if I remember. I tried it. Everything works. The mouse is a little slow, but I'm using it on carpet. I don't actually have a mouse pad. Of course, trying to get it to work with. Oh, crap. I'll, I'll set it on top of the Mac and do it this way. It's probably the best thing I can do. Oh, crap. Come on, computer. I mean, phone focus. Focus. That's good. Control panel. Let's see if I can jack up the speed of my mouse a bit. Here. Since it, yeah, it's on tablet mode. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Fast. When in doubt, put something on fast. I mean, well, close to fast, at least. So let's see if the mouse at least responds somewhat better. 
yeah, it's responding a little bit better. Turn my phone sideways. Oh, God, the screen. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. This it's actually my first time trying to do something with one of these, one of my units in my collection. Okay, so you should be good. Let's show you some basic little things I have on here. So, I've got the hard drive here. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what this damn mouse. I'll just use this <laughs> game case. There's a temporary mouse pad to see if that works better. Oh yeah, that works a lot better for now at least. So you got your system folder, which just has all the operating system related stuff in it. Um, then my designated programs folder, which has stuff it expander um, that is version 4.01 4.0.1 by the way Mac right so we'll get into a little bit later um, and then this neat little program called copy ROMs that's allowed me to take a snapshot of the ROM image for use with the um, um, Mac cl Mac oh uh, Mac emulators so as you see I think this one's designed for so you can use it with Mini VMAC, which is a great little freeware piece of software. Ah, crap. Um, so you can see here I already have the ROM image created, but I'll show you what it's like running it. So click on it and it'll basically bring up ROM information. You got the checksum, you got the major, you got the minor versions, you got the sub-release. So, the checksum, is, uh, my, the particular ROM in this computer is 0, I mean blah, 4D1EEAE1. The major version is 0075. The minor version is 6000. The sub-release is 55AA. So, I'm going to hit return go say okay it's gonna ask me to save but I'm not since I already created the ROM image so I'm gonna say cancel it's gonna take me back to the copy ROMs folder um close you and um, this is Mac right by the way this is the word processor which originally came out for the Macintosh when it was first introduced, I think. MacWrite, yeah. And so we're gonna start MacWrite. This is a blank document. I am going to close this blank document and actually open the test document that I created called MacWrite Test. So, keyboard. So, as you're going to see here, it works. I have it with like bolded text and stuff. Oh, crap. Sorry, this video is not the best. It's kind of, it's my first time trying to get a good thing on one of these. <clears throat> that screen flash is pissing me off. So, as you can see, this it's basically states that this is MacRife version 4.5, which I'll show you the about. Mac right screen here in a minute, but it's saying this is Mac right 4.5 running on a Macintosh 512K E with a Motorola 68,000 CPU, 512 kilobytes of RAM, um, system software version 6.0.8, Finder 6.1.8, and yeah, oh god, it's gonna be a quarter of an hour for this little video. But like I said, this is my first time, so you just need to bear with me. So let's see, we go to about MacWrite. This is what I want to show you. So MacWrite, the Macintosh word processor, and then goes by who it's created by. And then this version, like I said, is version 4.5, which was released apparently on April 4th, 1985. Got the copyright dates down there. Um. So this is basically the full thing here. Um, let's see, so I'm going to hit return.
close you out. I'm going to go to file. I am going to go to quit. Oh, ask me if I want to save changes. I'll say no. Little watch icon for when it's busy. The busy icon on this computer. And these old versions of the Mac OS. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, shit. Part of my French. Um. Yeah, close. Close, close. You got your trash. It's very simple, little. Very basic. But at the time, this was. <laughs> ahead of the time, at the time, this, this computer was. really came out. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, you just. You know, do normal stuff. Go ahead and turn it off. Now, there's no actual shutdown procedure. It'll close the operating system and tell you that it is safe to switch off. That is that it is now okay to switch off your Mac safely. So to do that, you just pop right here and it's off. So hmm, that's about it for this beauty of a vintage machine. Um. I guess next time I'll talk about that Commodore 64 over there, which was my dad's when he was in high school. <laughs> he actually gave it to me to mess around with, teaching myself some basic programming, literally basic in the basic programming language, you know, just tinkering around and stuff with that. Well, un until next time, I guess, this is... Hunter, aka Nerd Killer, signing off. Peace.